Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We got Sam with us today. Hell yeah. We got a big bag of worms and we're going gill head bashing. So stay tuned, it's Smash Fishing. Woo! rigs we're using today is the good old flapper rigs same as what we always do for the gill heads nice strong hooks uh, with ragworm we got a good chance at anything really coochers bream black bream bass gilt heads uh, we can get a real big variety so fingers crossed and all it is really is we got six ounce gripper because it's a it's a 9.2 meter tide so there's a lot of tide flow coming through we got our grip weight three-way swivel to our first little snood and then about two feet to the next freeway and then we got two size 3 hooks and that's all it is really very straightforward fishing and hopefully we can get lucky got a good variety of bait today and we've got some very expensive ragworm <laughs> so check this out that's some cracking worms right there. Look at the size of some of them. And these things are what you want for gilt heads and bass. They do have teeth as well. I don't know if it's trying to nab me at all. There you go. So they do have a little nip, but they don't really hurt. And all we do, we're not messing around today. We're going to put a whole worm on a hook. So we get a massive giant worm like that. Go straight in the top, then thread it straight down. Because on these big tides, the really big gilt heads come in. And uh, that's what we're trying to target. There's a good chance we're going to catch up to the small ones as well. But that there will catch you anything. Absolutely anything. Ragworm such a diverse bait. Because it's got so much wiggle and so much juice. Uh, yeah, they're just they're probably number one on our list eh, for multi-species yeah. fishing. So we're going to get all these baited up, get them chucked out. We don't want to waste any time. So we want to catch these bad boys. Some of the other baits we've got today, we've got the good old razor clam and we've got a few gaper clams left as well. Uh, we're, we're definitely going to have to get more of these at some point. These are the last of it. Need those for the gilt heads, eh mate? Hell yeah. Sounds just getting baited up now. Same rigs. He's got a bit shorter snoods on his, so it's interesting to see which one works. I'm going to switch it up. I've had bites on my rod already, so it's probably ras. So you just never know. Come on, you fish. Go on, Sam. Oh, that's the cast. Boom. The new PB, Sam. <laughs> Megalo weed fish. Inglorious fishing. Dano's come to come catch some gilts, hopefully. Don't like walking. He don't like walking, that's why he's got a boat. <laughs> How you doing mate, alright? Yeah, I'm good. Damn. Get those gilts. Get those gilts. He just had a slammer of a bite. Is it fighting much? No. I reckon it might be a big rat. Oh, there's a few kicks still. There we go, it's livening up a bit. Could be a gilt. The way that just, it went like that, it went from straight to boom, straight over. Oh, <laughs> Go on, Sam. Come on, my man. Well, normally with this one, there's a few, eh? Yeah, yeah, for sure, mate. Nice. We could get anything on this tie. We can get bass, couches, anything. Nice. Just take your time, man. Don't want to break that hook. I think it's a bit of weed up as well. It probably is, but as long as the fish is there. Is it coming in? What Sam? You're due a fish. <laughs> I'm gonna walk down and uh, land this fish for Sam. If there is a fish here. Oh, 
There we go. Black bream. That's not a bad one. Oh, hey. Reel up a bit, mate. Oh, that's a lovely fish. There we go, guys. Nice size black bream there. Beautiful. There you go, guys. There's Sam with his black bream. It's not a bad one at all, though. If you just come in the sunlight, mate. Look at the stripes on that. That's in breathing collars. And we're going to catch cook this bad boy. I've got my new frying pan as well. So we're going to be eating good tonight, baby. Hell yeah. Well done, buddy. Cheers, mate. Can we get some more? So there you go, guys. We've dispatched the Sam's bream. All I did is knock it on the head and then cut the gills so all the blood comes out. That's going to be great eating that, Will. Uh, bream's right up there with bass and cod and stuff like that. It's a lot firmer and a lot more tasty in my opinion. So what we're doing is leaving it under a wet rag, just so it keeps it nice and fresh till we get hungry and decide to cook it. Yeah, boy. <laughs> nice one, mate. Nice little rat bream there, guys. Not as big as Sam's one. We'll get this one back. But a lovely stamp of fish we're getting here and we're getting a lot of bites too. So get him unhooked, get him released, hell yeah. There you go guys, his gill popped out as I was unhooking him, so we're gonna keep this, it's in legal size anyway. So uh, we're chocking him to one side and we use him as pot bait or we might fry him up for Inglorious to give a try. I'm not eating. <laughs> Dano's in. I reckon it's a little black. Getting a lot of bream, eh? That could be wrong. Could be, oh no. Could, just come off? could be a wee fish. Sam's just measuring the fish. These are perfectly legal. They gotta be eight inches to keep, I think, for uh, bream. Yeah. And these are 30 mil. They're uh, way longer. Well, yeah. They're both about the same size, eh? 330 mil. Beautiful. Both the same. Two perfectly good eating fish right there. Beautiful. Check that one out, guys. Nice little coochers. There you go, guys. That's a coochers sea bream. Beautiful fish, these are. See the blues on the head, and they got blue dots all the way down their back, and they're really vibrant pink. And these grow massive, believe it or not. So, this one's definitely going to go back. It was hooked quite well, so this one's going to have no problem going back. And they've got quite big teeth. I don't know if you can see in there, but they've got gnashes on these things. Hell yeah, that's a coochie's bream. <laughs> and I drop it. All we need now is a gilt head and we've got our trio. There you go, just in the sunlight there, you can see the real color of these fish. Beautiful they are. Beautiful. Go on, little man. There you go, straight off. Let's go get some more. Woo! There you go, guys. Another coochie's bream there, a little bit bigger that one. On the ragworm beautiful every time you pull these up you can't help but gawk at the collars look at the shine on that fish that's mental so i won't waste any time we gave you a good show with the last one so let's get her back nice little coochers there not big enough to eat if it was about a pound then then we would have but look at that blue it's iridescent blue collars awesome one fish going back Beautiful. Let's go get some more, hopefully a bigger one. While we're waiting for the fish to bite, guys, I'm just gonna show you how to fill it a bream. You got a lot of meat up in the headspace here. 
So you want to get your knife underneath this flap here and go up towards the head and then straight down. And then what you do, you start following the backbone. There we go. It's got to follow the backbone all the way down. And you can come where the anal vent is or the butthole. You just find the bones, come straight across and follow the bones out. And then you can just start releasing the fillet straight off the bones, just like so. Beautiful. There you go, and up towards the head, you've got the pin bones in the middle. You just break those and then your whole fillet will start coming off. This one went a bit pear shaped. There we go. And all we do is just trim it up by going underneath the rib bones here. Beautiful. Got one nice little fillet there. Not the prettiest, but that's going to fry up nicely. All we're doing now guys we've got the fillets here they're a bit botched job these filleting jobs but hey ho and what we're doing is just scoring the skin just so they don't don't curl up you don't have to go deep just cut the skin beautiful then we got our good old favorite chili flakes they go straight over the top we've got our fresh black pepper and we will do the same to the other side without the uh, chili though got a little bit of parsley leaf in there beautiful and the good old garlic salt beautiful we get the pan on the heat we'll show you how to cook them we've got our good old frying pan what we got is a bit of olive oil in my little squeegee bottle <laughs> i didn't want to bring out all of the uh bottle with me because the lids are rubbish so we do a little bit in there, wait for that to get to the heat, and we we'll get our fish on frying, baby. It's pretty good. I don't think I'm gonna season these anymore, I think they've got enough. What we're doing, guys, we've still got the bones in these fillets, because me and Sam don't mind picking them out. And what you're doing is skin the side down and then you're going to fry them up nicely and all of that skin that's why you score them see i didn't score that one enough that curled up because it's so fresh all of the nerves and stuff keep going we got one curly fillet <laughs> there we go we're going to fry those up these are going to taste amazing Almost ready to eat now guys. Nice crispy skin. This is only gonna take another minute. Sam's just going to find some plates. <laughs> Where's all the fish, Dano? <laughs> Look at that for a view as the sun's going down. Absolutely stunning. And we got fresh fish, caught, filleted, and straight in the pan. That's what it's all about, baby. There we go guys, our nice crispy bream, served on our normal plates, that's what it's all about, it smells delicious eh mate, it smells amazing, oh yeah, botch job fillets but I bet you that tastes good. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Danny from Inglorious <laughs> Fishing and I'm not going to eat this fish, <laughs> because he's a sissy. <laughs> 
So there you go guys, lovely fillets, lovely white flesh on bream. You can't go wrong with that. Nice crispy skin. Tell me what you think, buddy. Mm. Mm. Oh, very similar to the gilt, but it's got more of a fishy flavor to it. You find? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. I like that. I really like that. That skin is the best. It's amazing, huh? Mm. Still got the rods out, so we're going to be looking left, right, and centre at the moment. That's delicious. Oh. Like I say, bream is really, it's quite a firm fish, but you get those lovely white flakes with it. I find this hands down better than bass. Oh, for sure. By a long shot, oh, I agree, eh? yeah, definitely. So tasty, eh? Right, it's got that fishy taste, but not overpowering. No, eh? not at all. Damn, it's getting bites. Go on, strike it. That's what it's all about. Within half an hour, the fish is caught, and then put it in the frying pan. You can hear Dan's bells from a mile away. <laughs> Sorry for uh, all the uh, car noises, guys. You got a fish on? Go on. We, we're right next to a road at the moment, so we're gonna have a lot of noise in this video. I actually thought there was gonna be more bones than that. I, I've only had about two, I think. Yeah, I've, been, I've had a few through the middle, but that was it. Lovely. Can't get better than this, though. Mm. And with the scenery we got, this mark has one of the best views you can get. Okay. You didn't get any of them. So we're going to finish off our feast now, guys. And we're going to carry on fishing for a bit, so hopefully we can get a few more. Fingers crossed, baby. This was delicious. Get a gilt if we record it again. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be cooking a gilt head if we catch one. <laughs> wow, season. I love those chilli flakes, mate. Like, you were never a chilli fan, eh? Never. And, like, recently, you've been well into it. I'm loving it. All right. It goes really well with fish, though, I find. Yeah, it spoils it if you put too much. Oh yeah. Because like obviously I'm not a big chili fan. <laughs> but yeah, you just can't beat that. I love the skin, that's my favourite. I like really one time. Crispy, yeah? I'll fill it the fish, I'll skin it, and I'm gonna fry the fish and fry the skin. So we've got crisps. Yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. I like I like the sound of that. Sam's got some nice cocktail baits there. Ragworm tipped off with a nice piece of razor clam hopefully that brings in a lucky last big fish eh mate hopefully mate <laughs> hell yeah look how beautiful that sky is going glorious fishing in the background getting bites go on dano hook him <laughs> what a beautiful evening to be out fishing We've had a lot of little knocks on the small bream and stuff like that. But we haven't had any sort of big takes from the gilt heads or anything, so uh, it's all good. We've still got a few black bream, a couple of coochers, hopefully a lucky last minute fish. Inglorious Fishing's packing up now. I'm all packed up. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe to Inglorious Fishing. Inglorious Fishing. They're, <laughs> the, they're the men of the day. They had the coochies and the black bream and I failed miserably. Ah, you get them next time though, buddy. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> we'll have to get out again soon. Yeah, for sure. Beautiful. That's all for today's episode, guys. Fun little trip, eh, hey, mate? Yeah, it was nice to get out. We got Inglorious in the background. Oi, oi. Oi, oi. Nice little catch and cook of bream. We haven't done catch and cook bream on the channel no, was, yet. Yeah, eh? it was really nice to try that. It was delicious that? as well. Really highly rated. What was I going to say? Smash fishing. Yeah. So stay tuned for next episode, guys. If you want to check out Sam's Instagram, I'll leave the link in the description. 
you want to check out Inglorious Fishing, I'll leave the link in the description as well. And if you like my channel, like and subscribe. There's going to be plenty more to come. It's Smash Fishing. Woo!